are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Since you're already watching, you might as well just pause, hit the subscribe button, and just become a part of the family because you're already here. It just honestly it makes sense um if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in this week so this is a very exciting video because it is a thrift haul which i know you guys like those videos a lot and i really enjoy them because that means i get to shop so honestly a superb win-win for us all um i'm actually going to include some items from rue 21 which i know it's not a thrift store but I just so happened to walk into one and it was closing down because they're closing a lot of them down so I would definitely check your area if you have more than one in a close proximity check to see if they're closing one but yes so I checked the Route 21 by my house and they were surely closing down and so everything was marked I think 70 80 and 90 percent off and I actually came like on one of the last days so it was kind of empty and I didn't think I'd find anything but I found a few pieces so I'm going to include those in this haul as well. So yes, if you guys want to see what I got then just stay tuned. Alright guys, so the first thing I want to show you guys are bottoms. I actually got a few pair of jean shorts. I finally just decided to find some shorts and make them from the thrift store. Um, because that's really the only way I can find some that actually cover my derriere. So yeah, these are the ones that I found. And I actually found them in the men's section as shorts. So they were already like men's shorts, but then I cut them shorter. And I mean, this is a great way to save from having to cut long jeans. So this is the first pair that I got. I found like a light wash. And I already cut them up into the shape that I wanted and put some rips and stuff in. So they're already done being detailed because I did them the day that I got them out. I did not film it, but if you want to see something like this, let me know. Um, I finally found a shape that works for me. So that's just the hardest part. But yeah, I really, really love these. They came out so good. I even frayed them at the bottom and I did this with the other pair as well. So this is the other pair and it's just a darker wash jean. And like I said, I did the frays and their rips like I did in the light wash pair as well. They're really cute, really comfy, and they are just, I'm just so happy to find, finally have shorts that actually fit me. The last bottoms that I got, I'm actually super excited because they are so cute and pants that are actually really, really in style and they're just like these type of pants. I actually like them because they're cuffed at the ankle, like they're not, they don't flare out. So they're really, really cute. I love the pattern. I still have the price tag on them. But I went on a day where everything was $2, so this isn't even real. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this these are the pants. They're really, really cute. The pattern is really adorable, and I feel like you could put it with anything black, white. Um, you, even yellow would be really nice with this, like a yellow shirt. So yeah, really love these. All right, guys, so on this day, I got two accessories, um, which I never really get accessories, but I needed these. I was actually on the hunt for a belt because I kept trying on the jeans at the store, and I have that little kangaroo pouch because I don't have a waist. And my sister was just laughing at me and I was like, wow, I should really just look for belts while I'm here. So I actually really wanted a specific type of belt buckle. And I was like, wow, you know, it'd be really cool if I could find it thrifting because now they're actually replicating these kind of belts. So I was like, wow, it'd be really cool to find like an authentic one. So yes, I ended up finding this one and this is what the belt buckle looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, it's just really one of those cute ones. It kind of reminds me of Selena. Um, she used to wear stuff like this back in the day when she was on stage. And it's just really cute. It even has more silver detailing. And it's actually the weaved pattern. So this is great for people who, you know, can't wear regular belts. So you can actually weave it in if you have a smaller waist. But this actually doesn't fit me that well. It actually fits right up to the first lock. So... I really lucked out like I almost was not able to get this one and it's the only one that I found. The other accessory that I got my sister actually found this and when she did I was like girl you're just gonna have to give that to me like this is not about you this is about me and she was really hesitant but then she was like you know what it's not my style go ahead sis you got this y'all are you ready? I don't I don't know if y'all ready for this. It's a fringed fanny pack. Are, are we serious? Y'all look at this. Is this not the cute y'all come on who's not wearing this and stunting in this okay like who needs a purse it'll perfectly fit my phone my lip gloss and my wallet like imagine wearing this to like a day on the park or a festival or something really cute it's on your waist it matches your outfit and it's not like a raggedy looking fanny pack I'm in love wow and it fits perfectly it just has those two little straps so it's not like one of the fancier ones with the 
belt buckle type of thing but it's just like the weave one and you can actually adjust it to fit your waist so yeah I really love this I, my dream is to find like a fringe jacket in this exact material and this exact color I would really be killing the game then or maybe a leather one I'm gonna add that to my thrifting list. All right guys, I also got two shirts and I actually didn't think I would like these, but when you really think about the outfit in your head, it's like, these are staple pieces. So you, I kind of was just like, I need these. So the first one is this shirt right here. And it's just a silk shirt and it's cream with some black detailing on it. Here's the front panel, one of the front panels. So it just has this black detailing black detailing on the cuff of the sleeve and the black detailing on the collar and this actually does not button up to fit me but what I was thinking was I could do like a lace bralette or something underneath or like a lace bodysuit or something underneath and then tie it up around the waist and wear it with like some high-waisted jeans y'all this will really be a look and it's really really cute with some red lips so this is the outfit that i envision with this shirt and it will happen soon so you'll see this the next shirt that i got is actually another silk blouse and this one is just black and white striped um this is just really cute i think for any little night in the city you just toss it on with some high-waisted jeans really casual you can also tie it up around your waist as well if you want it i mean like tie it up as well if you wanted to but it's just really cute and I see it with like you know my faux locks or like some type of braided style um I think that would be really really cute with this the last piece that I got while thrifting is actually something that is more sentimental to me um I saw it and I immediately thought oh my gosh that looks like my mom because she actually wore something like this to my baby sister's christening yeah I believe it was my baby sister's christening and Junebug looked so cute and I saw this and I was like I need that dress just so I can wear it and look like her because she looked so bomb that day. So this is like a blazer dress and it actually has short sleeves and a nice button detail as you can see and it has pockets. It kind of fits like uh, in between a midi and a mini skirt so it's like kind of like right above the knees it's absolutely gorgeous and I just see it it's really 90s chic so if you're not really into like the 90s chic I don't think a lot of people would like it because my sister really tried to talk me out of getting this and she was like I don't really think you know that's really nice or whatever and I was like you're not seeing the vision like I really see myself on a good Sunday rolling up into the church with this little number on with some nude heels oh y'all it's so cute I wish I could find that picture of my mom so I could show you guys because even when I bought it home and I showed it to her I said mom like I found this and it looks exactly like the dress you wore to one of our christenings and she was like let me see and she was like that's it like it's the same dress and I was like we're bonding and I'm here for it June I'm here all right so now I'm going to show you guys the pieces that I got from Rue 21. Like I said it was 70, 80 and 90 percent off that day. So the first item is actually this sweater that I'm wearing now and it's just long sleeve and it's a cream color and it has that lace up detail. It's a light sweater. I know you're probably thinking okay Cass it's summertime why are you wearing this? It's actually raining outside so it's nice and cool but um yeah it's really a light sweater that you could layer up and make it you know winter appropriate. Um I got this actually in a small I was like I'm getting this I even though it's not a medium let's see hopefully it fits but I think this was actually it was originally like $29 and I got it for five yeah five dollars so yeah really really cute love it the next couple of things that I got are all from the men's section and I just really want to get into wearing more like dresses that aren't middies and like you know I would love to wear a t-shirt dress but they don't make them for girls with butts and so like it's just not for me so I was like wow maybe if I go to the men's section they'll be long enough and I could just get like biker shorts to wear underneath so the first thing that I got I actually already wore this and it was a winner honey okay this is the cutest thing ever and this was also five dollars I believe it was originally like 30 but it's just an ombre oversized t-shirt and it has a hoodie well it's oversized for me but this is like a men's what is this a men's large yeah it's a men's large and it's just a peach colored ombre with the gray at the bottom um shirt actually has the hoodie and then the drawstrings this guys it hits me right 
mid-thigh. It's absolutely adorable. It doesn't look inappropriate. I was screaming in the dressing room. I was like, you, my friend, have thought of an idea here. It truly is just the cutest little thing ever. So yeah, really cute. So excited that I found this. The next thing that I got actually looks really similar to that first piece I just showed you guys, but it's just in like this gray color. Um, so yeah, it has the short sleeves as well, and it's the same exact length. It's even longer in the back than it is in the front, you know? Oh, it's like they made it for me to wear it as a dress. So it also has the short sleeves as well, and then a hood, and then the drawstrings. And I love this because the drawstrings are longer on guys' things as well. Oh, this is just so cute. It makes me want to just be ready to, you know, for my future man. I'm going to make sure his closet can just incorporate the both of us because hello you know she's winning right now so yes i have some cute little dresses i can wear throw it on with my slides and i'm gonna get like some black biker shorts to wear underneath just to be on the secure side so the next couple of things they're the same exact sweater um and i got actually three of them they were 193 a dollar and 93 cents i was like I'm, I'm gonna just have to get all three of these and I cannot wait for winter well fallish winterish times so I can wear these because I wanted to wear a cute sweater dress for so long but they just are never the right length so the first one that I got is this black one and I know you probably can't see but it, it's actually distressed like on the sleeves on the front it's distressed all over um, it has a nice rounded neck y'all and it's so long including the sleeves and stuff I just see this all three of them because I also got it in a gray color then I also got it in like a bluish gray it's kind of like in between this is like a blackish blue gray um but I left that one upstairs you don't have to see it 60 times but yeah so really can't wait to throw this on with like a leather jacket and some nice ankle boots the fall is not ready for me am I ready for me in the fall I don't know but yeah maybe you could see the rips a little bit better on the gray one I'll try to put my hand in let's see so yeah this is a rip right here and they're just everywhere it looks so good and it's like the perfect length I even did like the arm lift up test to see if it would like lift up too high and it did it so once again I'm I am gonna wear biker shorts under all of these just so you know make sure I have that extra security but they are perfect and they're not too heavy but they're heavy enough like I couldn't wear them in summer Maybe on a cool summer's night if I was going to like a birthday dinner and I was really feeling like I had to wear this sweater and there was a lot of AC in the place. I could pull it off. But this is really for like early fall when it's like kind of cool but not too cool. And then you could also really layer this up for winter time when it gets really, really cold. I also got one accessory from Route 21 as well and it's actually this purse. It is the cutest little book bag. I've actually been looking for a new one because I've been wearing this one that I've been I thrifted a few years ago and it's just it's not as practical as I would want it to be because I always feel like I'm leaving it open and it's behind me so I found this one and it's this beautiful gray color and like at first I saw this little hook thingy and I was like oh, I really like the purse but maybe I'll just take it off because I don't think I'll use that and immediately I've been I use this every time because it's actually like a little handbag you can just hook it on here and walk with it or just hold it by your side and then you could also still wear it as a book bag which wearing it as a book bag is good but like if you feel you know you're walking through a place and you don't want to get your book bag snatched off of you then you can just use the hook and I have found this to just save my life um it just opens like this and it has a drawstring to tighten it and then the little flap to pull up so it doesn't adjust itself and then there's the magnet clasp to close it so yeah I really love this bag it's my new everyday bag and it has been coming in handy all right guys that is all that I have to show you today as you can see going to the thrift store one of my passions I find some great things and shout out to you know that route 21 RIP to that location but you know those deals they were the bomb and they were worth it honestly I'm actually peeping for another one to close so I can like run up on it and be ready but yeah I love you guys so much let me know if you have any questions anything about thrifting or any of the pieces that I got and you guys want to know more about them then just let me know down in the comment section down below love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one bye